Hi, this is Jared from Shoe Gnome, and here's the first of two short, long overdue uh, video posts. So, on both these posts, I'm going to talk about the Morph tool, but I don't want to show examples of how to do really crazy geometries or um, build furniture and save them as objects and upload them to BIM components. There's other videos for that, and I'm sure I'll talk about those in the future as well. What I want to talk about is using the Morph tool to improve design process because quite honestly that's what really interests me. So here is a small beach house um, that is going to show up in some other videos hopefully that I designed for Lab House. I've been working with them or I was working with them for the past couple months. Okay, so here is soffit over the front door and a nice easy regular to design but when I was working on this I thought well maybe we should try something a little more interesting or bold or different. Um, but I was doing this in Archihead 15, so I couldn't really affect this plane um, without doing a lot of work, and I didn't want to spend time. I just wanted to do a quick sketch, something I could do by hand, build a physical model of, but I didn't want to do any of that. So I just rationalized out why this design was perfect and moved on. But now with Archicad 16, we can turn this into a morph and play with it, see if we like the design. If we like it, we move ahead with keeping an element as a morph. If we don't, we just undo a bunch of times, or hopefully we save before we started goofing around and we just load the file. So let's look at an example. So I can take this slab, convert to a morph, start pulling down some edges. Like I said, this is nothing uh, Nothing fancy here. So we could just say, okay, yeah, maybe like that. And that's it. It's that quick. And so this is all I wanted to do, but in Archicad 15 I couldn't really do it. So I can see, yeah, I don't really care for that. Um, so I can just go ahead and undo it. If I undo it once more. back to a slab. So that way, let's try it again. This time I want to just pull that corner down. Yeah, that's good. And maybe add a new face to that. You know, and there we are. Or maybe another thing we want to do. We hold down shift control, we can select some some faces. Over here in the info box, now that I've selected that face, you can see that everything is grayed out except material. Maybe we want to try that material to look like the rain screen. And we are done. So, you know, it's not too bad. And this is something that without the morph tool we just could never have done. Nothing earth shattering, nothing complex, but now we can do that their projects. And again, this either now becomes the final model, which wow, I actually like that a lot, or we just do a bunch of undos. So I cannot get too mad at us. One more, and now we're back to where we were, which is a slab with all its solid element operations set up, and we didn't lose any information that we had. So that is a quick way to use the Morph tool to test some temporary design options, um, and you know, be able to start thinking more in ArchiCAD, not have to result to you know just closing your eyes and thinking really hard or sketching something by hand. Um, so I'm going to stop this video now, and I'm going to do another quick example, which I think you'll like. Thanks.